10% compounded cream and 1.5% DHEA. So I guess that's combined in one thing. I've, oh, yeah. heard you, I've heard you say stay away from the DHEA. Could you just expand on that a bit for me? Cheers. Sure. So um, I've done a couple of lectures on DHEA, man, if you want to watch that. Um, but for anyone watching, um, I've worked and done a lot of research with pregnenolone and DHEA, like a lot, a lot, a lot. It's what actually got me into TRT in the first place. So um, my recommendation after a lot of work with these, like people come to me specifically for expertise on these topics. So I can say this very confidently. I do not recommend people take pregnenolone and DHEA if you don't have a deficiency. Um, it, it, it causes, in what I've seen in the majority of, of cases when it's not deficient, it will cause side effects. Um, and if it does cause beneficial effects, it, it doesn't mean that that's the medicine that you need. For example, if you've got anxiety and you have three shots of vodka, it doesn't mean that that's the right medicine if it helps with your anxiety because it will also cause other side effects. So it, it, it could be indirectly helping with an issue that is not to do with a deficiency in the hormones. So that's really worth looking at. So the issue with the provider that this gentleman's working with is that uh, as far as I'm aware, I could, I, I, I could be misunderstanding this, but in Australia... Uh, a lot of compounding pharmacies will add in a secondary compound to a compounded cream. And this is because certain pharmaceutical companies have agreements with our Therapeutic Goods Association, as far as I'm aware, that they are like the exclusive providers of that specific product. So if you add a second compound in, it's technically not that product. And then I, I think that's why they do it. But um, the problem with this clinic, and I know who the clinic is, is that they add 1.5% DHEA to all their testosterone creams. So everyone gets the same product that's all got DHEA in it because the people who run this clinic, and if they're watching this, this is some really good advice for them. Not everyone on TRT needs fucking DHEA. So this is why this clinic has a huge drop-off rate. Um, you do not want to have, like some people would benefit from having the DHEA cream in there. Absolutely. But you're better off having it separate so that you can adjust the dose and so forth. But giving it to everyone is going to cause problems in the people who don't need the DHEA, which is going to be the majority. Um, and if you do have to add something to the cream, I recommend adding vitamin D. So when I get testosterone cream done in Australia, if I have to add something, I'm going to add 4,000 IU of vitamin D um, because you could argue that there would be benefits to doing that scrotally anyway. But vitamin D is something that we primarily, you could argue, absorb topically. So it just makes more sense. So um, what you want to do is get a different provider uh, who is going to be able to do ideally a 20% cream because even that way you could keep the dose the same, but it'll be cheaper for you. You'll have to put less cream on. It'll absorb better. But um, you want to find out if you need DHEA or not. And if you do need DHEA, you want to be able to optimize that independent of the testosterone. And mm -hmm. if you just happen to luck out and that's the right dose for you, then good for you, but it would be unlikely. Mm -hmm.